Hey everybody, Kaiseri here, and welcome back to another episode on the Craftway Season 2 server. Today we have all of the new friends. So we've got villagers, which that line right there uh, goes over to a village in the desert over there, which is where these guys came from. I went ahead and did that off camera because, let's be honest, watching me build a dirt path and put rail lines on it is not all that exciting. Uh, we have sheep in abundance. We have cows, lots of cows. These things took me like three days to find, not three days, three hours to find two, three hours to find two. And as soon as I get two in here, what pops up? There's one here. There's one over there. And I'm, I'm, anyway, but we have cows, we have sheep, we have villagers. And of course the best part, we have cats. We have these beautiful little kitties right here for our enjoyment. And this one, we have a jelly, of course, which will stay right there. The rest of these, uh, we're gonna breed up. We're gonna get, hopefully maybe try to get all nine of them because we've got six already, I think. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we could try to get all nine, which would be amazing. Today, let's say hi to race. Oh, uh, let's type. <laughs> getting used to bedrock. It's a little bit different, but we're getting there. It's okay. Today, what I want to do to start with is, oh, we've got crops too, is get these guys a safe place to stay because of that guy right there. Yep, I almost killed all of them. I had to put them in a dirt box and then I died, but they were saved and I was able to, to stop the raid. Fortunately, there's a guy, I killed him, but I trapped him over there and I got all the beds uh, away and put them back down. Anyway, they're safe, but they need to be safer because the raid definitely would have killed them. Uh, so that's the first thing we're going to do. And I actually think we're going to combine it with something here. What I'm thinking for this whole area is to create a little bit more of a basin than what we have right now. So this area up here will stay at the height that it's at because I love this overhang. And then coming this way, and coming this way, I want the train to actually gradually slope down so that right here where our cats are, it's actually more like at this level down here so that we can expand all of this area by the lake and put in some beautiful farms and some have additional space for some houses and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of plans that I have for, oh, we had a trader in here at one point. Look at that. There is a whole lot of plans that I have for this area. I don't want to go into them all right now because um, they will probably change. <laughs> oh, I know I can get up there. There we go. So what I think I'm going to start with is sort of hollowing this bit out and pulling it back a little bit here so that we can get something set up for these villagers, because these guys, this is how we're gonna get everything. It's how we're gonna get our enchanting books. It's how we're gonna get food. It's how we're gonna get building materials. These guys are the key to everything that we are gonna be doing in this area, I, I think. <laughs> so they need to be safe. They need to be able to make more villagers. They need to have beds, all that kind of stuff. So that is first on the list. And I am actually going to, oh dear, um, I think what I'm going to do is get some crops and do some trading with these guys. And actually, I have, what, uh, what, what happened? I don't know what that was. Um, this guy right here. So let's go ahead very quickly because our pickaxe is about to die. Let's see. Make one of these. Put you right there. And we'll do the pickaxe in the mending book. There we go. 
And then what we can do is grab our potatoes and our carrots. I haven't traded with any of these villagers yet either. So we can see what kind of trades they have. 26. You do just carrots? I want one that does two crops for the first for the first thing and I don't necessarily know how to do that uh let's not let these guys out there we go he got mad when I broke that did you guys see that I also need to break this one I built this little guy because the models around drop a lot of stuff that's compostable um uh, and I'm just using these as well as stuff that's smeltable like iron uh iron gear so I did that, but I'm going to go ahead and actually pick up this composter. Well, I'll let the hopper get it. Um, and let these guys get rid of their stuff. I'm going to do some trading with them. Get some emeralds and try to actually repair this pickaxe a bit with the mending before I get to work. But I'm going to do a bunch of digging and then I'll bring you guys back. Okay. Okay. So before... <laughs> let you go but I wasn't ready yet before we do digging I have something that we need to do right here because I want to do before and after sort of maps of this area if I can so and I don't know if you can lock maps on bedrock somebody will have to let me know before we make too many changes uh, but this is definitely something that I want to do and I have the materials for it let's see I want to make a map of this entire area. Now this pool right here is generally uh, about the middle. So let's see if we, actually let's put this all the way down here. There we go. Uh, let's actually come all the way down here. Like so, and pop the map. Oh, look at that. How awesome is that? All right. Let's come up here and stand on the bed so that the nighttime, yeah, so the nighttime will go. I think Brownie Bits is on. Yeah, he, oh, and Race Crafter, cool. So night goes really fast. Let's see. Come down here. Awesome. Oh, look at that. All right, now we need to go left and right and then do the middle and the bottom. And I'm finishing up locking the last of these maps. It is a cartography table, which is four planks underneath two pieces of paper, paper, and then just some glass panes and you put them both in the cartography table and it locks your maps. So these maps will never change. So anything that we do here moving forward will never change. Uh, we've been on the server. Today is day three, day three on the server. And honestly, the only thing we've really changed, I did a little bit of digging down where the crops are. But other than that, honestly, I haven't done very much at all. So this whole area is going to be, uh-oh, no, we need to sleep. And then we need to stand on the bed and we need our sword. Are you done? Are you coming to get me? Maybe? They tend not to come down in bedrock once the sun is coming up. I think we're good. So there we go. This bright green area right here, this is us. And I think it looks absolutely fantastic. We've got our surroundings in here. It all fits in a three by three map and it looks really, really cool. And these are locked. So this will never change regardless of what we do in this area. And later on down the road, we can make some new maps and actually compare the two of them, which I think is amazing. So I'm going to get to doing that trading that I said I was going to do. I'm going to get to doing that digging I said I was going to do. 
and we are going to expand these farms. Haha, <laughs> mending for 10. Let's do some trading. All right, so now we have we have one more guy to get. We have um I did some things. So we've got three farmers, one for each crop. We have wheat, potatoes, and uh oh, you, carrots. And then we've got two oh, they're all sleeping. There, look at them all. All in a row. <laughs> so we've got two librarians. One of them does silk touch for 10 emeralds. And the other one does mending for 10 emeralds. So we've got those two. We need one more, which is going to be efficiency five. And we're going to get it as low as we can. Uh, the lowest it can go, I think, is 20, 27 emeralds ish so we're gonna shoot for that but i'm not you know i'm not keeping my hopes up too far but hopefully we can get a low cost on an efficiency five and then we can keep digging and to do this it's it's super simple uh bedrock and java are the same you just put down their workstation and this is the guy there he goes he changes you check the book that's not bad but it's not what we need you break it and see he goes back to being a nitwit Put it down again, and he changes again, and we, not the trade that we want. So you break it, and you just keep doing it until they give you what you want. So that's what we're looking for, efficiency. All right, everybody, we are going to take a little bit of a break from our villagers because we need to go see Miss Frankie over here. And these guys are, I don't think I've shown them to you yet. They're way portal thingy with bobs medieval we don't want to go to medieval modern modern will do and they basically um are designed to teleport us around to the different districts in the world so that travel is a little bit easier and we are headed out to western where frankie is and i guess she's gonna be right here Ooh, three enchanted books look at that so here she is, and we're here because she just bought us an elytra. So she's gonna give us that. <clears throat> and we are going to give her something too. Oh, I, if I could type. And she said Merry Christmas, because it's Christmas. Let's see, so we're gonna give her mending, sharpness five, fortune three, and silk touch from the villagers that we have managed to collect for this. Let's see, Merry Christmas. All right, so I can't type. There we go. <laughs> Yay! So we have an elytra, which is awesome. So let's go back to the modern district. And then back to, these are so handy. Oh, we need the oasis. Medieval spawn. I think we can get there from here, from this one. Uh, oasis, there we go. So this is where we are. And then we go find the one. <laughs> there we go, find the desert one. And that means we're this way. So I'm gonna head back and keep working on my villagers. We've got a whole bunch. I'm actually... I think I'm actually done now. So when I get back, we're going to make an enchanting table. So it is time to make the enchanting table. And there it is. And I think, do we have enough obsidian? We don't have enough obsidian to make an ender chest, but that is in the list. You can see I've got these guys right here. I did toss some, some more blaze rods somewhere. I spent a fair amount of time in the nether and I came across a fortress killed some blazes we are actually going to take these guys and deliver them to spawn for everybody else so that we can all have uh I've got these yes so that we can all have uh ender chests because I don't know last I checked I don't know that anybody has spent a great deal of time in the nether or that anybody uh, actually has an ender chest yet. 
So we are going to do that for everybody. But first, we have 37 levels, which is why I went to the nether. Because quartz, hello, easiest early game leveling there is. We need to hope a lot uh, that we are going to get some unbreaking on these guys because... Uh, we've got the, the, we have the villagers for everything else. Uh, and we need not fortune. <laughs> that's, that's not what I need. Uh, what if I put you in here? Oh, good Lord. No. You? No. You. Fortune. I don't want fortune on a shovel. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, we do have one spare level let's see if we can get something good on no no um on a hat <laughs> maybe we can get something good on a hat respiration too i'll take it cool all right now what unbreaking three that is what we want how about you silk touch we have a book for that let's put it on the Axis still Bane of Anthropods. Let's go ahead and just put it. <gasps> yes, we can just put mending on that and then we're done. Am I out of levels already? Dang. Well, there goes, there goes that. <laughs> we didn't even get, oh. Oh, you know what? I left. I left my, my thingamabob up here. Let's grab this guy. I did some sorting with the shulker boxes and I got one for free from Bullybait for giving him a book. Because we have a book in here that has fortune three on it. Yes, fortune three on it. And he wanted one and I gave him one. So he repaid us with a, no, I want the guy who does potatoes. These guys are stuck in here. They don't sleep. If anybody knows how to fix that, I would be very interested to learn. <laughs> All right, so let's grab, boy, expensive. Can we do two? We can't do two. I think I might have one though. Oh. I gave it to Frankie. Uh, sharpness. Mending. One, so we need mending on this. We have mending here so we can combine these two. And we need another efficiency book. So we need more emeralds. Let's go ahead and buy the mending though. Because we're going to need it on everything eventually fortune three sharpness what are you efficiency and what are you silk touch okay well we are getting there looting th three yeah why not we can put that on our sword okay so the last thing we're going to do in this episode is actually not here. We're starting to run out of time, I think, for the episode. So I want to go ahead and kind of move on a little bit to another task. And we need to go to spawn because I'm going to put these blaze rods at spawn. We are here at the spawn games uh, building. And I'm just going to plop this guy right here. And we're going to put all 25 of these guys in here is there not enough to of course there's not there we go we'll just do it like that and put a little sign on it says please uh take one for or just please take one okay there we go please take one so with that, I am going to end the episode here. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope you are looking forward to seeing what else we are going to do in our oasis. Between episodes, I'm going to go ahead and continue trading with villagers, trying to get all the books, try to get more villagers, and I'm going to do a little bit more of the terraforming stuff uh, because it's not all that exciting to put on camera when I'm just digging out. Oh my goodness, what is that? I don't know if that spoilers or not. <laughs> when we're when we're we're digging out, that's a big ship. Um, <laughs> digging out stone isn't that exciting. So I'm oh, you're so cute. So I'm gonna do a lot of it off camera, and uh, I we'll see where I get when we come back. Maybe we'll have enough clear so we can actually build something that would be amazing but for now i'm gonna let you guys go and i will see you in the next one Bye bye